guys, welcome again to ITS Information Technology Skills. On today's video, we're going to have an introduction to tree. Tree is considered as one of the data structure. So what is a tree? Tree in nature have a distinctive feature compared to tree in data structure. So bakit nga ba may pagkakaiba sila? Because in data structure, its root is on the top and the leaves are on the bottom. So that is the difference between a real tree. A real tree Yung root niya nasa baba while the leaves are on the top. But the tree in data structure, the root is located on the top and the leaves are located on the bottom. Trees are important object in data structure because it displays data items in hierarchical structure. The basic example of a tree is the organizational chart wherein meron ka makikita ang isang president and its subordinates. Then, yung subordinates niya, meron ding mga employees or meron ding mga tauhan. So, here guys, let's identify if yung display dito sa screen is an example of a tree or not. So, first we have this. Is this a tree? Yes, that is a tree. Okay? So, the same with an organizational chart. Isa yung pinaka-boss and meron siyang mga subordinates. Is this an example of a tree? Yes, this is a tree. Okay, let's have another example. Is this a tree? Yes, that is a tree again, guys. Okay, so bakit tree siya? Kasi kung titignan natin, para lang siyang link list. Okay, so kasi pwedeng si A, magkaroon pa siya ng iba pang subordinate or si B, magkaroon pa siya ng ibang subordinate or meron siyang dugtong dito. Okay, then let's have a default example. Is this a tree? So, this is not a tree because B and C have the same child. Okay, so, titignan natin yung B and C is a child of A. And logically, if they are both child of A, so, ibig sabihin, magkapatid sila, dapat dito sila magkaroon ng parehong anak, which is E. So, that is not considered as a thing. Next, we have example number 5. If you're going to look, see A, meron siyang child node which is a B, and B, meron siyang child na E. So, possible ba ni E is child niya si A? So, is this an example of a T? This is not a tree. Kasi bawal pong bumalik yung child node or yung isang element ng tree dun sa pinanggalingan. Okay? So, which is hindi natin alam kung sino ang magiging root dito. So, now guys, let's have this example for the terminologies dun sa Natin. The first term that we have is the word key. Key represents the values of a node. So, ang mga key dito, guys, are the letters na makikita nyo sa loob ng mga circles. Okay? So, A, B, C, D, and so on. Those are the keys. This represents the value of the node. Okay, so ano nga ba ang node? So, we say nodes, these are what the trees are composed of. These contain values that represent a data structure. A node has at most one Parent. So, ang nodes dito, guys, are the circles na merong laman na key. Okay? So, itong mga circles na nakikita niya natin dito, these are the nodes. Okay? So, sabi niya, node has at most one parent. So, just like B, ang parent niya is si A. Okay? So, we have another term. Meron tayong tinatawag na root node. So, dun sa introduction natin kanina, we say that the root of a tree in data structure is on the top. So, big sabihin, if we say root node, this is the topmost node or yung pinakataas na node ng isang tree. So, ang pinakataas na node dito sa tree natin is si A. So, basically, that is the root node. Then, next, we have the parent node and child node. So, let's say we have A. That is the root node. Okay? And we can consider that A is a parent of B, C, and D. Then, this B, C, and D are the child nodes ni a. Another, we can consider B as a parent node ni E and F. So, E and F is a child node of B. Okay? So, makikita naman natin yun dun sa mga arrows niya kung saan sila nanggagaling. Then next, we have the leaf node. Leaf node are the outermost part or the outermost nodes. Okay? So, ito yung mga nodes na nasa labas. Wala na silang child node. Okay? So, ang mga nasa labas na node are the K, L, F, G, M, I, N, J. Those are the leaf nodes. Kung yung leaf nodes are the outermost nodes, or yung mga nasa labas na node, 
meron tayong tinatawag na internal nodes. These are the nodes na meron siyang mga anak. Just like E, B, C, D, and A. Okay? Next, we have the edges, line, and paths. Okay? These are the lines connecting the nodes that describe their relationship. Okay? So, from the word lines, so ito mga block na nakikita nyo, those are the lines or edges that represent the relationship of each node. We also have the subtree. A subtree is viewed as a complete tree itself, which consists of children and children's children and so on. Okay? Subtree corresponds to the root node, is called as the entire tree. Okay? So, tatawag natin dito kapag kasama si root node, which is A, that is the entire tree. Pag subtree corresponding to other nodes, that is the proper subtree. Okay, so let's have an example of a subtree. Okay, so this is the first example of a subtree. Kung titignan natin itong nasa loob ng circle lang, huwag natin i-consider itong mga nasa labas ng circle. Dito lang tayo sa loob ng circle, we can consider this as a subtree. Okay, they can be viewed as another full tree. Then next, we have this as an example of subtree. Okay, kasi meron siyang mga child node. Another, we have this, an example of a subtree. Then, we also have this as another example of a subtree. Pwede din to subtree. Next, we have the labels. Labels are generations that tree has starting on the root. Okay, so we have this as the first label. Then, next, we have the second label, the third, and the fourth labels. Okay, so... That is the generation from parent to child to the grandchild, grand-grandchild of the three. So, ganun lang siya guys, okay? Next, we also have the degree. This refers to the number of child nodes. Let's say we have degree of A. So, bilangin natin kung ilan yung child node ni A. We have 1, 2, and 3. That is B, C, and D. Another, we have the degree of C. So, ilan value yung child node ni C? Meron siyang isa. Okay? So, if we say degree, that is the number of nodes dun sa baba no specific node. Next, we have the depth of the tree. Depth of the tree is the highest level. Okay? So, basically, the depth of the tree is 4. Dito sa example natin. Kasi, level 1, 2, 3, and 4. Four. Then we also have the depth of a node. This is the total number of edges from the root node to the particular node. Let's say depth of G. The depth of G is 2. Okay? So starting from the root node, bilangin natin kung ilan yung edges niya. So we have first edge, then the second edge. So the depth of G is 2. Okay? Then let's have depth of M. The depth of M is 1, 2, then 3. So that is the depth of M. So now guys, let's try to answer some of the questions based dito sa 3 na nabigay sa atin. Okay? So... The first that we identify is the root node. Okay? So, the root node of this tree is G. Okay? So, kasi siya yung nasa una or pinakataas na node. Next, we have the depth of the tree. Okay? So, depth of the tree is the highest level of the tree. So, if we're going to count the level of the tree, meron tayong 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, the answer is 5. Next, we have nodes in level Four. So, the nodes in level 4, if we're going to analyze, ito yung si level 1, level 2, level 3, and this is level 4. So, the nodes in level 4 is Z, degree of D. So, if we say degree, that is the number of child, no specific node. Okay, so, the number of child ni D is 1 and 2. Okay, so, hindi kasama yung grandchild niya, of course. Okay, yung anak niya lang. We have two. Next, we have child or children of Z. Okay, so these are the nodes under Z. So we have M, K, and F. That is the answer. Next, we have total nodes in the tree. So bilangin lang natin kung ilan yung nodes dito sa tree. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. That is the Total number of nodes of the tree. Next, parent of F. So, the parent of F is Z. Okay? So, dun po nang galing yung arrow niya. Or the edge. Next, we're going to identify the leaf nodes. 
delete nodes are N, M, K, F, L, N, X. Okay, so those are the delete nodes. So ngayon naman guys, we have the maximum degree of the tree. So if we're going to look dun sa tree natin, the maximum degree na meron or makikita natin is 3. So bakit 3? Um, kung titignan natin kay root node, ang degree niya is 1, 2, and 3. Tapos yung iba, 1 na, ito, 2, kay B. Then we have Z, 3 din yung degree niya. So the maximum degree of the 3 na makikita natin is 3. So that's it guys, we're done dun sa introduction natin ng 3. So kung gusto nyo pang matuto about the time complexity or complexity analysis of a tree, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell para ma-notify ka kung meron na yung bagong video natin. Bye!